There it is. This thing is remarkably small. What's up YouTube, it's your boy, BMAC, and today, is a fun day. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the DJI Spark. This is a drone I was very surprised to hear about and I'm about to be even more surprised with how small this drone actually is. At the time of making this video, the DJI Spark is the smallest drone that DJI makes. It literally can fit, supposedly, we're gonna test it, in the palm of your hand. For the price and the size, I am interested to try out the DJI Spark, see how it holds up, unbox her, and then go out and fly her and put together a nice little compilation video, see the cinematic footage that this thing's actually capable of. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's unbox box the DJI Spark. Quick look at the box. As you can see, we have the DJI Spark drone on the front. Nice little picture there. This is the black and white combo. We have the DJI logo on one side, the DJI website on the other side, and on the back we have some warnings, serial number information, and a list of what actually comes in the box. Now all this comes in the DJI Spark Fly More combo. As you can see, that's the version that's right here. Depending on where you get your DJI Spark and what kind of combo package you get, it might depend what comes with it. But that's everything that comes in this baby right here. Let's unbox her. We're just gonna pop open the top. Ho, 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 ho. I'm excited. Lift these two tabs out. We'll take out this little box right here. This is all one section, apparently. Take a look at this. Move that off to the side. And this little part of the packaging right here, if we open this up. Oh, there you go. This is actually your spark manual and your quick start guide. Looks like you get one for every single piece of equipment in the box. And this is just a DJI spark manual in about five different languages. That's cool. Move that off to the side. Back to the main box. I wonder which section the drone's actually in. Is it in this thing right here? This is the DJI Spark storage box. We'll flip it open. There it is. This thing is remarkably small. I cannot believe how small this drone is. This is, it. putting things into perspective real quick. DJI Spark Phantom 4 Pro. That is just insane. Well. Obviously, different level cameras, different levels of professionalism. But just size-wise, I mean, I gotta I got compare. Look at that side-by-side -side comparison. That's insane. Right off the bat, super impressed with how small this drone is. This is a drone. That's the camera right there. These little propellers, it's cute. I like it. But anyway, enough of comparing the two. Just wanted to show you the size comparison. And just one other side comparison. This is my iPhone 10. Side-by-side, -side, it is about the size lengthwise as an iPhone 10. That's incredible. I could fit the iPhone 10 in my pocket. Easily could fit this in my pocket if I wanted to. DJI was not kidding when they said the DJI Spark was going to be incredibly small. Wow. It is small. Anyway, that's the Spark drone itself. That's the aircraft body. Also in this case, the storage case we have here, we have those two batteries, which are also remarkably small. We have battery one, battery two, and then we have two little inserts right here. What are these? Oh, cool. These are your little extra propellers that they gave you in case you happen to have a little mishap. But that's all that comes in the storage case. Nice little storage case too. This will definitely protect it in most situations. I like that. Also in the box, now we have the shoulder bag. That's all that's left in the actual box itself. I like the shoulder bag. I wish my Phantom 4 had more of a shoulder bag. I have a backpack for it, but a shoulder bag would be dope. Oh, look at that. Oh, you would look so fresh walking around with this. People are like, oh, what's in the bag? Be like, <laughs> a drone. That's cool. But let's see what's in the bag itself. We'll unzip right here here. Pop this open. Ah, uh, yes. So here it looks like we have the propeller guards. Take these out of plastic. Take a look at them. There's one pair right there. And also in this shoulder bag, we have the battery charger itself. That's important. Ooh, I'm excited for this. The remote controller. So compact, man. That is so cool. You have these little levers, if you will, that pop down. You just stick your tablet or your phone right there. Oh, I like that. Much different, I might add, from the Phantom 4 Pro remote controller we have right here. So you would take your iPhone and the Phantom 4 Pro, you're just gonna attach it right up here, and then you would plug it in just like this. But on the DJI Spark remote, it's a little bit different. In the DJI Spark remote, you would just slide it in with these little pull down levers right here on the side. I like that, I like that a lot. I actually like it a little bit better than the Phantom 4 Pro remote because as you can see, the clamp for your phone or your smartphone on the Phantom 4 Pro is top and bottom based, which means it's gonna clamp on the sides of your phone or your tablet. Whereas on the DJI Spark remote, it's side based, meaning whether you're using a phone or a tablet, it's gonna actually clamp on the bottom and top of the bracket, which with the direction iPhones, for example, are heading in now, since there are no buttons on the top and the bottom of the iPhone, you have no issues with your buttons being pressed while you're actually attaching the phone or your tablet to the remote controller. So I do like that, I like that setup a lot. Obviously you have the antennas, you wanna pop out for better range. We'll peel off this plastic right there. Oh, missed a spot. So that's your remote setup, very compact, I love it. Again, you could realistically fit 
the remote in your left pocket and the drone in your right pocket if you wanted to. That's just mind boggling to me. That's crazy. So this is what we're dealing with so far. But we have more in the shoulder bag. You can't forget your micro USB cable and the other part of the charger. And that's it. That's all that's left in here. If you look at the shoulder bag, it's got some nice little component areas for your batteries. You just would slide those in right on the side there. Nice little battery compartment. Two of them for your needs. And that's the shoulder bag. Oh, almost forgot. We have one more little extra surprise in this front pocket here. We actually have that docking station, which is super cool. It can charge multiple batteries at once. Now, that's all that's in the shoulder bag. Almost forgot the docking station. But this is it. This is the DJI Spark. What an incredible little piece of technology, huh? So it looks cool. I love the compactness of all the different parts. But what I really need to do now is turn this thing on, get it set up, bring it outside, put it to the test. Let's see if I can get some cinematic drone footage with the DJI Spark. This will be interesting to see. If you're interested in getting a DJI Spark of your own, I'll be sure to leave the link in the video description box below for where you can get this combo package at the best price. So if you're trying to bring a new baby into your life, check the video description box below. So let's go fly this bad girl. I'm excited.